Look at her. Great. Look at her. Welcome to Mission Medicine. My name is Akeem Henry. <laughs> Welcome to a week in the life of a medical student. This morning, I am going to be heading to class. I just got my clothes on, ready to head out the door. I'm going to film a week in the life and a my life as a medical student i haven't done something like this before so i want to take you long you guys along with me i just want to show you a typical week in my life as a harry medical college student um, i'm going to take you guys behind the scenes show you guys what i do what classes are like what goes on um how the classes are set up what the school looks like all of that so i'm going to take you on a day with me hopefully it's a good enough interesting week for you all um today is monday um, and I'm just gonna vlog all the way till Friday. We have an exam on Friday, a formative quiz. So I'm gonna be preparing for that along this week while getting research done. Also working on um, studying for an SFM exam that I have on Thursday. So it's a busy week. Right now I'm on my way to campus where I am going to be sitting in lectures till basically from 8 a.m. to 12. That's how they kind of have it set up for us, 8 a.m. to 12, of having in-house lectures, and then we had the rest of the day to study. So I'm going there right now. In the mornings, I typically try to have a light breakfast, nothing too heavy. I got this yogurt right here, and I have a granola bar. Granola bar, have that, because it's like really easy to just grab and go, eat something really quick, get some food in me, break the fast a little bit that's what all breakfast is, is just breaking a fast from overnight um, I'm excited for this week because y'all we are starting our ninth unit our nine out of ten units we've taken in so many already we took internal medicine we took pediatrics we took GI we took MSK skeletal muscle system we took heme onc we took cardio we took pulmonology, we took renal, we took neuro, <laughs> we just finished endo, and now we are starting on reproduction, the female reproduction system, babies, um, so that should be really interesting, really exciting to be coming up on our 10th unit, where we're now going to be heading into almost starting clinicals in the spring, that means year three is going to be upon us where we'll be now rising third years. Um, this is very exciting. Um, something that I'm really looking forward to within the curriculum is getting to the clinicals and being able to apply finally the information that you know we've been learning so far for the past two years for preclinicals. Um, it's gonna be exciting to finally connect the dots and finally realize, all right, this is why they taught us this. This is why they explained it to us like that, you know? It's gonna be finally to be great to make those connections to help us solidify actually becoming real doctors. So I'm looking forward to that. It's gonna be a really good time, really good and really exciting time. And yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. So I'm almost close to campus. I don't live too far away. Thankfully, I don't have to catch the highway. I do recommend that if you are traveling to school every day and you don't live on the campus, especially for professional school, it's best to live within a couple miles radius from the campus so you don't have to travel using the highway because when i tell you nashville's traffic tennessee's trap well nashville's tra uh, traffic specifically is not fun at all to travel in it is actually very very annoying <laughs> i'm not going to lie to you like during rush hour it just seems like the people down here just cannot drive <laughs> so i uh, don't recommend it at all to have to travel to the highway through using the highway in the mornings because I know I would definitely be late <laughs> every day so almost close to campus like I said it wasn't too bad of a drive to get here and then yeah this is gonna be a week in my life it's exciting I'm gonna show you guys around and show you what it's like to be a Meharry student in a week So headed out right now, just got finished up with lecture, about to go to the library to go and work on some research papers. And then from there, I'm gonna go to the 
house to go and finish studying. So I just wrapped up having my lunch, um, had a salad and had a smoothie. And now I'm about to sit down and spend an hour and a half working on research and just go to a couple of databases, gather some information and compile it to continue building out this manuscript that I'm working on. And then I'm going to start studying for this repro unit that we're in. We just started repro today, went to lecture, knocked out a couple of lectures um, in class and then talked with some of my friends, hung out a little bit, some of my classmates. And then now working on this research, then I'm gonna go and study and review the lectures that we went over today and study for my public health exam that is later this week as well. So it's a busy week ahead. I'm taking you all on a day in the life, a week in the life of a medical student. So what's happening y'all, I just got out of the library, about to head out the library now. I'm about to go home, go at home, take a break a little bit, just got finished with research. So just got done with that, I'm gonna go and head home and finish up some projects that I got going on at home. Going to take my dog out for a little bit. Today's actually a pretty warmer day. We're in the middle of like October right now, so it's like a between of getting cold and getting warm. Um, but yeah, today's a good day. What's happening in the world? Welcome to another day in the life of a medical student. Another day in the life, week in the life of a medical student. I am on my way right now to campus. I have a lecture that I have to go and attend. And then I have a couple of errands I gotta make on campus. Got a couple of people that I need to go and see. So today has been a long day. I was in the library, just leaving the library now, right here. Um, I was working on a research project, knocking out a project that I got going on that is due soon. Just trying to do some more research. I tend to like to do research on campus. So I just come to the library, knock it out, focus, so I can just lock in, get it done. Um, hopefully I can start doing more research at home so I don't gotta spend so much time on campus. But. So far, that's what I've been doing. It's been working out, it's been helpful. So, just got done with that. Now, on my way home to go and walk Bentley, and then I will be, then I will be going to a little birthday party this evening. One of my classmates is having a birthday event, so I'm gonna go out and support her, and then come home, finish studying, like I said, got that quiz for SFM on Friday, so Thursday, and that quiz on Friday. Say hello to the vlog. I'm just leaving the library. Are you, what you going home? Well, yeah, I had to get my book bag. Went to hello. Bag. Oh, dang. You went to go and study in there, and then you forgot your bag. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, like, like Anki. She just got on the Anki wave, y'all. And I really watched this like two hour masterclass. Who did it? Which one? Which YouTuber? Um, I forget his name, but it was, it's on the- Zach? Maybe. Zach Hiley, probably. Juan? Yeah. Zach probably did it, yeah. Yeah. Um, it was helpful. I know, you know, what the buttons mean and stuff. Got She's got an Anki so. remote. That's the key right there, is that Anki remote. It gamifies the whole process and make it a little bit more easier. We'll be but, like that. Yeah, I just got out of here. I was working on this research project and then okay. I'm gonna um, go home, study a little bit more, and then I'm go to a little birthday party event. Happy birthday, Jasmine. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Here we go. What's up, y'all? Y'all feeling? 
you guys finish up with Academic Society. You two new. Say hello. So shy. Hey, Michael's in the building. Yo, we got tech liaisons. Everything tech. Our Anki cards. All of that. <laughs> so just got wrapped up with Academic Society. About to head out. About to go home and study. Tomorrow we have... Tomorrow what we got? Wait, hold up. Tomorrow we have... No, we have the SFM. And then, yeah, Midtown for SFM. <laughs> she don't know the exact that we have for tomorrow. And then on Friday, on Friday we have... Uh, four minutes. So and then we have fall break. And we have fall break. Yeah. Medicine. Uh, okay. You got anything inspiring you want to tell the people? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, you got your mic on. Okay, okay. Inspiring. Um, follow your dreams and whatever you do, don't give up. You got it. Amen. 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 This is my second time around doing this, bro. Like, oh. This stuff. <laughs> no, no cutting on the YouTube channel. Keep it clean. Rewind. Take two. This is my second time around trying this stuff out. Yeah. I'm really happy to be here. It's a God's blessing that I'm here. And you just got to hold your head up high. Like, even if it's tough, you're going to make it through. What he said, what he said, I, I agree 110%. Pray for me. Tell your followers to pray for me. They say pray for Manny because we got this SFM tomorrow. The thing is, they be sneaking up on us with this uh, SFM stuff. Sometimes it seems like it's going to be cool. Like, you know, just, just study the review slides. But then you get to the test. It's like they're asking some deep questions. I'm in there like, yo, I don't know what they want from me. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> it's a deep question. <laughs> <laughs> Some deep questions. I'm just like, yo, I don't know what they want from me. <laughs> just vlog your life. This is med school, man. It's stressful. Med school is actually not that bad. It's just about balancing everything, you know? The balance. I'll see you, Manny. Take care. So headed home right now, just wrapped up with Academic Society. And so we basically are finished with everything. About to go home, finish working on studying for this SFM exam, which is our basically our public health exam. And then on Friday we have a formative quiz. We just started a reproduction. So the reproduction is gonna be just everything in regards to just the female genitalia, <laughs> development, stuff like that. Yeah, Say something to the people. Right this is uh, Chanazo, doing? one of the youngest, doing it in the class. Hey, this is the Most CEO, of CEO Mission to Man. <laughs> Tap in right now, I'm telling you. Two or three years, you're gonna see him on everything. You're gonna see him on YouTube, you're gonna see him on TV, documenting the whole journey. So tap in with my, with my boy right now. You heard the man, you heard the man. Yes, sir. Mr. Taylor, Dr. Taylor, how you doing? Say something to the people. Oh, we're doing well, you know. Y'all, uh, make sure you staying healthy, drinking your water. Um, yeah. Stay away from the doctors, actually. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You but don't wanna see us, man. We're good people, we'll take care of you, but the start <laughs> is at home. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You actually don't wanna see us. That's facts. <laughs> Preventative measures. Yeah, Take them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> are you curious? Are you serious about your health? Word to Dr. Miller. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> That's one of the things one of our uh, instructors talked about today during our academic society. What's up, Bentley? <laughs> this is my crazy dog, y'all. He's always hyper. Always ready to play. Look at him. Ready to play. He's in that puppy stance. That puppy play stance. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come here. So y'all, I just got home from Academic Society. I'm gonna now be focusing on studying for my SFM exam. I'm kind of nervous because once I said, like I said earlier, they will say that it's a simple exam. All you got to do is just go through the review slides. But then when you get into the exam, they're asking you very deep questions that require a lot of thinking. And I don't got time to fall into that trap. So tonight I'm going to just do a lot of questions and review the content, do the Anki cards that one of my classmates made. Shout out to Michael. I just showed you all him earlier today. He made some Anki cards that were very helpful. So I'm going to practice some of those and then I'm going to also um, review the slides and then do more practice questions. So that's for the SFM, the public health uh, test tomorrow on Thursday. And then on Friday, 
I have a formative exam for the first week of reproduction material that we've covered so far and I have to like stay on top of that. And I also have to prepare for a meeting tomorrow that I have with a surgeon at a different institution where I have to um, basically talk to him about some research that I want to do with him. So that is a whole other thing that I got to go and prepare for tonight as well. So it's a busy, busy evening. I'm about to get started, get some food in me and then just grind it out with some caffeine because it's gonna be a long night. Wish me luck. If I don't vlog later today, you already know why. During my academic society, they had talked to us about eating healthy, losing weight, cutting out bad foods. So I said, let me not come home and do just something different. <laughs> so I'm eating a salad right now, a Caesar salad, before I go start studying. I really want to go for a run. The weather's been really nice this week. So we'll see if I get that done or not. But right now, I'm just eating a salad. Mm -hmm. So during our academic society, we had a guest speaker come in and talk about weight loss, his journey in fitness, about how he was at 260, and now he's at like 190. My goal is to get down to 200 pounds, about 195, to where he's at, but he's 6'3". I'm not even that tall, so I definitely need to be lower. Um, but yeah, it's important to do to eat healthy because when you get that weight, everything goes up. Your blood pressure goes up, cholesterol goes up, your chances, your susceptibility to get cancers is higher. So that's why I'm trying to stay maintaining my weight and loot and focus on weight loss. Uh, Last year around this time, I was headed in a bad direction, y'all. Stress eating, doing things that I wasn't supposed to do, gaining massive weight. So this year I'm trying to correct it, and so far I've already lost 15 pounds. So just gotta keep this up, I'm trying to eat healthy, stay away from the fast foods. I eat more salads. <laughs> What's happening, y'all? I'm getting ready right now to head out the door to go, to go and sit in my SFM exam. I studied up pretty late last night till like 1 a.m. studying for this exam and studying for my formative on Friday. So I'm about to go and sit this exam now. Just finished walking with my dog, Bentley. Ate a little quick breakfast. Now it's time to go. Wish me luck. And that this exam is as straightforward as they say it was gonna be. They said that it was just gonna be an exam that required us to just think through ethical scenarios and know a little bit about insurance companies, about processes for clinical trials, what's right or wrong in regards to patient care and handling and um, fixing situations where something goes wrong in the hospital, what should be done. So I'm just hoping that they didn't tell us no uh, false information because um, I mean, I did some practice questions too to prepare for this exam. I feel like it's always important when you go into these exams is to have a background and so you get to do practice questions to get experience with the type of questions they're gonna ask. Just got out of the SFM exam. This is like post-exam toxic behavior that everybody hates. It's where everyone just talks about the exam and how they feel and how they feel like the exam went. I usually don't try to engage in it, but sometimes people suck me in when I feel really bad about the exam. What happened? So, Ioma, how you the SFM exam went? Um, I think it went well. Um, I have a master's in public health, so you know. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, I think it went well. I think it was great. But it's also very tricky because it's tricky. Yeah. I felt like it was pretty tricky too. It wasn't as self explanatory as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> it was straight vibes, honestly, just sitting there trying stuff. You know what I mean? I just like that for real. Honestly. Like, that's what one of these days are, y'all. Just a Red be medical related, but you know, we take it. <laughs> I want to hear Jordan. 
Can I just get your thoughts real quick on this SFM exam? I know you have a public health background. I would love to hear from the professional. How are you feeling, Jordan? Um, the, the, okay, the public health background did not help. Um, he went in there. Um, it's really just whatever you feel in that day. What kind of physician do you want to be? Which is not, it, it's just not testable. If I want to help my patient, they're going to say I'm wrong. So I just feel like if we're, we're at Meharry, we're advocating for our patients, we're, we're you know, a public health based medical college, then you can't be she testing us on stuff like spiel. that. You, look, I got, the, I got the whole spiel because that right there was some mess. Just <laughs> nasty. Just rude. They don't care about patients, but I care about my patients, and now I'm about yes. to fail. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. So as you can see, it's a common consensus of just like vibes on this exam today. So this is David right here. He just got finished up with the SFM exam. I want to get his thoughts on it as well. Um, SFM exam, I don't know, man. You just had to go with your heart on that one. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I'm just going to lie. That's all you can do. That's all you can do. Um, I can see everybody's saying the same thing. Everybody's seeing, feeling the same way about it. And y'all want to say anything? Oh. Family? No? How you feel about it? Oh, just a it little scratch. I was, trying to be as, I was trying to be as logical as possible, to be honest. Um, don't know how that went, because, you know, sometimes my logic be out the window. No, I feel that. Like, <laughs> straight up vibes. Straight up vibes on SFM today, y'all. Okay, so right here, we have this young man. He's our meme master of the class. <laughs> Anytime that we have an exam or something, get called out. he has the perfect, perfect meme for the class. And he's about to send his one right now for this SFM. As you can hear, that it was a really very interesting test. So what is the meme about, Jacob? Uh, there we go. All right. So as y'all heard, that was a really rough exam this morning. We just have to see what the results are when we get out and see if it gets better. But yeah, I'm hopefully I pass. Hopefully I'm able to move forward with that exam. But it was pretty rough. So what's up, y'all? Just got out of SFM as I told y'all before. It was a really hard exam. You could hear from everybody that I talked to that everybody had the kind of the same sentiments about it just being an exam that they wasn't fully prepared for. So we'll see if we'll get any questions back, see what the average is on it and see if they will do anything for us. But moving forward, tomorrow we have another exam. Tomorrow's Friday. We have our formative, which are like our weekly quizzes that we have when we're in a, a unit, a new block. So after each, each week, we have a formative exam where we're just testing that week's information is just to keep us pacing towards the summative, which is our final exam for that block that we're in. And so tomorrow we have our first formative for reproduction. And so hopefully that goes a lot more smoother. Those tend to be more representative of the information that we learned in my opinion. That's just my opinion. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and then we're gonna be starting fall break. I can't wait for that <laughs> because then I get to finally get to rest a little bit, take some time off to kick it with family and friends and be able to go back home, get some good food. I'm Jamaican, all my favorite Jamaican spots are back at home. So definitely wanna go and hit there, hit those spots up, and then get to come back and get back to the grind. And then we're moving on to preclinical. We're gonna be finished with preclinicals. So I'm really excited. I'm about to go home now, go and wrap some things up. Gotta go and work on this research project that I'm continuing to work on. And then I have to prepare for a meeting that I have. And then later this afternoon, I have um, PPM. PPM is um, basically Principles of Practice of Medicine where we learn different medical skills. Since we're in repro, we're gonna be learning how to do the pelvic exam in nation. And then we're gonna also just learn how to write better notes. So I'm looking forward to that because this is all stuff that we're gonna have to be able to do when we get to the clinicals and get towards next year. So they're preparing us now and getting us geared up for what's to come. And I'm really excited because we get to go to clinicals next spring. just got home from my time being on campus. We had today our SFM exam. I had a meeting that I had to go and attend with a PI that doesn't go to my school and he didn't show up. So that was a little annoying, something popped up. So, you know, they're really busy. So you never know when something happens. And then also um, I had SFM, I mean, PPM, 
which is our principles practice of medicine. And this right here is the time where we learn our skills. So today we learned how to do the pelvic exam and we learned how to write um, a soap note. So that's those are some skills that we're going to, have to learn how to be able to do when we go on rotations and do physical exams. So that was good to get the background understanding on how to perform those examinations. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, right now, I'm about to go into a quick nap, recharge, and then study the rest of the evening for my repro adduction, repro um, formative quiz that we have tomorrow morning um, on Friday. So it's been grinding, grinding, grinding. It's been a busy week. I still got some more research that I need to do. Um, so I'm just going to finish up this night, take a quick power nap, push through. But that's the thing with medicine, y'all, with med school is just find the time, just keeping your energy up and, and, and getting the things done that you need to get done. So yeah, I'm gonna go and take a nap right now. I'm a little exhausted, as you can probably tell. <laughs> so, all right, see y'all soon. It is officially formative day, the day of our quiz. It's Friday. It's been a long week. I've been vlogging with y'all, try to capture at least a moment in my day, almost every single day. I'm eating my breakfast right now. I think it's 7.48. I gotta hurry up and get to class. So this week, we're being tested on the reproduction system. We cover topics such as the menstrual cycle, gametogenesis from spermogenesis, oogenesis. We talked about different um, genetic conditions that may arise, different disorders that may happen. So we talked about the physiology of how the egg develops and then fertilization. We talked about different things that could go wrong with that process. We talked about the, anatom the, an the anatomical structures of the reproduction system. And then we also covered the pharmacological drugs that can be used to induce assisted reproductive, could induce ovulation, which are arts assisted reproductive technology, IVF, in vitro fertilization. So, there's still gonna be a lot of information tested on this quiz this morning. Luckily, I've been able to keep up with the materials. So I know at least generally the overview of what's going on, the minutia and the details, still working on that, still hashing it out. It's only been a week, y'all. So, sometimes I'm able to get everything down within a week, but this week where we had an SFM exam, I had two research projects going, meetings, Something had to give. <laughs> something, something had to give y'all. But I feel like I would be okay. What's up, y'all? We're right here inside the lecture hall, about to get started with our quiz that we're about to take soon. We got Chelsea here. Chelsea, wanna say some words to the people? No. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Happy New Year. Happy Friday. Hello, everyone. Good to see you. <laughs> they dry. Hey, Chelsea, they locking in right now for the exam. They have nothing to say, but we're about to start our fall break, so we're about to. Exam. They have nothing to say, but we're about to start our fall break, so we're about to finally get some rest because we've been at it since August and it's been a long couple of months so we just gotta continue to push through these last couple hours here and then we're gonna be gone for fall break <laughs> huh oh what you say okay 
As Mr. King said, you have to prioritize rest. Get your <laughs> Make sure you're getting your rest. Make sure you're getting your rest. Medical school can stress you out. As you see, you got Cam over here. Oh, that ain't Cam. That's my. <laughs> you got Malik over here. You got something to play? Say something about rest. The important. I'm looking forward to resting, man. It's been a long couple of two years, man. It's a lot of energy, a lot of time, a lot of effort you got to put into it. But at the end of the day, you got to take care of yourself. That's the biggest thing. So that's all I got to say. What's your real estate at the end of the day that they got to end? Amen. Chris. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you have a chance to take a break, it's always important to capitalize on it. Yeah. Capitalize on it. I think we get three days, but I'm gonna try to make it feel like five. Are you going anywhere? I'm going. So I'm staying here for until through Sunday because I have a few friends coming up for Texas Vandy, okay. and then I'm gonna go back to Dallas gotcha. Sunday night. It's gonna be a good time. Yeah. Appreciate you, Chris. You uploading this. Over break. <laughs> Over break. <laughs> Over break. Hey, everybody, you know, enjoy the holidays. That's all I can say. Facts. What's up, y'all? I would say, um, honestly, just give it your best in med school. You're going to get tired, but the main thing is do not quit. Make sure you enjoy life a little bit. Don't, don't forget to study hard. You know, a little bit is better than nothing. Amen. But take some break and enjoy yourself. He doesn't study, though. He's, he he's a natural smart. Whoa, whoa. We we'll never say smart. that. I study hard, I pray hard. Do you? <laughs> study hard, pray harder, and I got a good pray. group of people around me. Faith, faith. Just wrapped up with the foreign quiz. Look who we got here. We got VA in the building. Um, about to go on fall break now. Shit's wrapped up, so that's a wrap, y'all. Yeah, I had a week in my life. I've been vlogging the whole entire week. So vlogging the med school life here at Meharry, kind of lit, you feel me? <laughs> so y'all got to see behind the scenes, the full gamut of what it's like being a student here from the studying, from just what it is on campus. But now it's time to rest. Rest. It's big resting. <laughs> they just got, she's an M1, y'all. She just got back from um, break and we're going on break. It's kind of crazy how they did it for us. They made the M1s have a week before us to have their break and then we're coming back, so. We're on different schedules, it's okay though. What block y'all starting on? Um, pulmonary. Oh, that's not too bad. I just don't like, I don't like palm because you can't see it. Mm. You know, you can't see air, so. Okay. It's more conceptual. Okay, okay. It's like It's more conceptual, you just gotta like understand what's happening, whereas everything else, like you can visualize like, oh, the blood is running through. I'm gonna turn off the camera now. All right, y'all, that's a wrap. <laughs> now I'm on my way to the barber shop. I'm going to get my hair cut before I head on the road tomorrow. Um, I wanna make sure I'm, you know, I don't like to go nowhere looking too crazy. It's been a hectic week studying for these different exams, I'm busy with meetings and projects. So finally wanted to do something for me, take care of me. You heard it, guys. You heard everybody talking about self-care talking about making sure you take care of yourself and for me that's getting a haircut right now so I'm heading right now to go and get that haircut I'm gonna start packing my stuff I'm gonna go to the gym and I'm gonna be on the road for tomorrow heading back to Baltimore can't wait to go and see my family and my friends one of my buddies he's having um, a Halloween party but I told him that I wasn't gonna be able to make it because I wasn't sure I was actually gonna be back home but being that I'm Going back home and fall break ended up being around the same time. I'm gonna be able to go to his Halloween party, so I'm gonna surprise and pop up. And then I have a party to go to with my family later that evening as well. So I'm just gonna enjoy the time, relax a little bit, take my mind off of the books, take my mind off of school stuff, and and really enjoy the spirit. Because we've really been at it since August, y'all. It's been it's been a long time just grinding it out. So I'm just looking forward to just relaxing and being home, eating some nice home cooked meals, <laughs> being around loved ones. And then I'm also gonna be shooting a podcast with one of my homies. His name is uh, Cameron, which you all probably might remember him if you've been following Mission to Medicine from the beginning. Cameron was one of the people who helped start this channel. We had the idea to start it together initially. 
then I kind of took it over <laughs> and just it was more like dedicated towards it so I'm um, going to be meeting up with him he's a, um, an anesthesiology resident so we're going to talk to talk to him about his journey because camera's really not big on social media like that so a lot of folks been asking about him where he's at how's he doing so this is going to be a not now a good great time for him to kind of like update folks on where he's at in his journey what's new with him and hopefully you all are excited to hear his story and where he's at and see how he's doing um so yeah i'm looking forward to that conversation as well Just got finished with getting my hair cut. I go to this barber, his name is Damien. He basically cuts almost all the guys at Meharry. Maybe just a little over exaggeration, but he cuts a lot of us. He's a really good barber. Definitely someone that I would recommend. So if you all end up coming to Meharry, if you're watching this, um, definitely try to see if you can go to Damien. He's at the Winfrey's Barbershop, very close to campus. He does a good job, as you can see. Your cut looks really good um so yeah definitely go and check them out so now i'm about to go ahead to the gym i'm about to go and get a quick workout in My school provides us a YMCA membership and we can go to any YMCA all across the country it doesn't matter where and they have a pretty nice facility a good place to work out and right now I'm about to finish my workout now and head home take a shower start packing get things organized and get ready for the road so we'll see I'm gonna call cause I think one of my friends are actually having a game night so if they're having a game night I might pull up to that bring y'all with me and then get ready to leave out in the morning all right y'all So just got done with the workout y'all that was a pretty good workout I did cardio today I did upper body um, honestly this week has been kind of untypical for me because usually I try to go to the gym three times a week but this week I was only make, able to make it once and that's today on Friday just because it's such a busy week trying to study trying to do research trying to prepare for these two exams that I had this week it's just one of those weeks where I just felt like I was stretched thin so I didn't wasn't able to make my commitment to myself to go to the gym but it's okay because I've been pretty consistent about it so this was just really like a, a rest week I would say <laughs> um, so you know I'm happy about where I'm at right now um, fitness wise I'm, I'm moving in the right direction since I would say um, May I've been kind of taking the gym a lot more seriously since I went to Mayo Clinic so far I've lost 15 pounds which is really awesome because Honestly, my, my health was headed in the wrong direction because after M1 year, I was just grinding, just working so much, studying, 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 but not really prioritizing going to the gym and eating healthy. But this summer, I started getting it right and re regaining that focus, regaining that that workout um, discipline, and it's been paying off. So I'm hoping to lose another 15 pounds <laughs> and, and see where, where that takes me, but I'm really happy about that, and I'm looking forward to where my fitness journey goes. Um, during this M2 year. So now I'm about to head home and um, pack, get ready for this trip that I'm gonna do, this long distance trip back to Maryland. I'm gonna be driving. Um, it's gonna be an 11 hour drive, y'all, which is kind of crazy. One of my favorite fruits, put that in there. Got a banana, and strawberry banana smoothies are my favorite smoothies. Put that in there like that. Dates, love dates. Put the dates in there. Got the protein and the almond milk. 
mixed up already. Put that in. Y'all ready? Lock it, power it on. Black. Foodie is ready to be poured, I think. Let's see. Yup. Cheers. <laughs> All right, y'all, so it's been a week. I showed you guys a full week in my life as a Meharry Medical College student. Um, essentially, this week has been a blur. It's been a lot from research in the classroom, stuck two exams, the SFM exam, I had a formative today, a quiz. I had lectures. I had different meetings that I had to go and attend. I'm exhausted to say the least. And then now I gotta go and pack. So look, y'all got to see what my life is like. This week is pretty much a typical week anyway, outside of just having the formatives. I'm usually able to go to the gym a lot more often, but I was only able to go once this week, which, okay, it's exhausting. I give myself grace. Um, but that that's pretty much a typical week in my life right now. Um, so I hope you all enjoyed this vlog. Hope you all were able to see the behind the scenes of what it's like being a student here. And now I'm about to go and pack and hit the road. So thank you for sticking around. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and please share this video out. Share this channel out to somebody who might need this motivational content. If they're trying to go into medical school, need some motivation, learn about the process, this is the channel for them. It's not a marathon nor a sprint. It's a mission of medicine. Peace out.